guys, I'm just going to do this video very quickly and it is, it is just literally a message to anyone out there who feels like life is not worth living or they feel like they've just had enough and they want to give up. Last year, um, well, for the last few years, I was looking after my dad, he had dementia. Um, and before lockdown, before the whole Covid crisis happened, my dad was a very fiercely independent man. He was swimming twice a week, he was driving, he was living his life to the fullest. And when Covid came about, he completely went into himself. Um, and with it having dementia, it obviously didn't help. So it was left to me on my own to look after him and it was it was hard and I almost didn't make it and last year I I felt I thought I'd made a connection with someone. I honestly I honestly did. Um and I did some things um which would in hindsight looking back was stupid and I shouldn't have done it but Still, I still believe that they are, and I still have great hope for them in the future to fully realise their potential to be who they are and um, fulfil their potential to help people and to help everyone. Um, but the point I'm trying to make is that <sighs> this time last year, well, about March, April time, I started doing art. Uh, as a way to just try and focus and not worry and to, to take my mind away from all the anguish, all the hurt, all the pain and all the sorrow about my dad. Um, and last year was well, it must have been the worst year of my life to be today. I don't want to be that much, but last year was awful. And after after all that, after my dad had passed, I sort of I was still trying to um, come to terms with my dad's death, which I was like really young. Uh, my brother came to stay with me, and he died. He died at my house. I just started a new job literally on Monday. I found my brother dead on Thursday night. Um, and if I hadn't been through what I'd been through last year with my dad, that would have been it. That would have been it. I shouldn't be here now for everything I've been through, but I kept going, I kept doing my work, I kept doing my music. And now look, I've got three music videos, which I'm very proud of, and of the guys, and the guys have done a video with us. I'm working with um, my friend Bridget, um, she's going to do work with her. Um, put my art and my email get put up now. I'll work published with tarot cards. And literally February, March last year, I was so new, I was so new, I was literally, I was finished really, I had no, I had no will to live after my dad died, I just thought, you know, once my dad died, you know, do, do I want to live in a world like this? But through the art and through people um, reaching out to me and people liking my art, you know, I couldn't do any art, I was so dismissive of art, I felt I was SHIT at art. and I'm just more confident about everything, about myself, about my looks. Um, I, forgot, I lost my teeth. That put me back so far, but I don't care anymore. Because uh, it doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't make me any less of a person. What actually it does is highlights to me um, people superficial what they think. That they look at me because I'm not
life's just starting now, I'm 43, and my life's literally just started. I had to go through everything I've been through to get to the point where I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself, and I don't care what anyone else thinks, I've not done anyone no harm, anyone can say whatever they want about me, but deep down, anyone who knows me knows that I'm a real person who loves you.